Hey everybody, I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Friday to you. We made it. Um, so this morning when I got up, my morning coffee is Instagram. And when I went on Instagram, I saw that Ezreal Clary was on a few of the um people that I follow. And usually she's on there for singing. She has a beautiful voice. Can't lie. Girl's very talented. But uh she won on there for that. Apparently, uh, Azriel and her father are involved in some kind of documentary. And I saw the, the clips, some clips floating around over the last several weeks or so called, um, I guess the documentary is called Precedence. But the reason why Azriel Clary is all over the blogs today is because of something that she alleged to have done with R. Kelly. So I'm going to go ahead and play the audio for you guys. And this is going to be a very, very brief video, but goddamn, I'm going to go ahead and just play the audio for y'all. Yes, yes, he has a video of me, um, he made me do this video actually of me doing a number two in a cup and then eating it out of the cup. It's done. It's over. It's over. You may not even make it to trial. I'm so sorry for you. I'm sorry. I really did love you. And you, you lied to me, and you used me, and you played me. Precedence. So, yeah. Um, Azriel is basically talking to the feds on this short clip. And she is telling them that R. Kelly made her shit in the cup and eat it now we've heard the rumblings about this before right it's, some of us would be like oh yeah we already knew that but i i'm sorry i just wouldn't tell nobody but god if i did that straight up and if somebody asked me to do that shit we would probably both be talking to god because we would he would be meeting god at that very time i just cannot imagine uh, doing that. We've heard about it. You know, the girls go over to Dubai, you know, get shitted on for a bag, eat some shit for a bag or whatever. But goddamn. Um, now as I'm watching this, I thought to myself how I know, like I said, I know that the, the, her and her dad are part of some kind of documentary called precedence. And I would certainly like to know how, um, they included this clip of her talking to the feds. I thought that that would have been, if she's talking to the feds, I really felt like that would have been um, more, um, I don't know, like like there would be no way to that they would be able to get that kind of recording. I, I'm just surprised at that, which is why it's just like, what the hell is really going on? And why on earth would you want that kind of information out there? I just, I don't get it. I don't get it, but goddamn. You have to be pretty fucking twisted to, number one, <clears throat> get your rocks off on that kind of stuff. Which, again, I believe there is a subset of people that like that kind of shit, obviously. Like that kind of shit. Um, because we hear about it over there, you know, over in the Middle East, right? All the time. But also for you to say, you know what? I will eat my shit. I will do it to prove my loyalty to you. I will sit here and eat something that came out of my, that is disgusting as fuck. Okay. And, um, Lord be some hand sanitizer or I wonder, did he make her drink water? I, you know what? Let me stop. I'm going down a rabbit hole that I, I don't want to go down. That's that is going to turn my goddamn stomach. But that's just crazy to me. That's some crazy shit. Yes, shit. I can't help but use the word shit. I'm sorry. But f straight up, I wouldn't tell nobody but God and a good therapist, which is why I don't understand why this girl didn't go run to a therapist instead of social media when she uh, separated from him. Like, I, I don't understand the whole social media presence, but this girl needs probably a lot of deprogramming and psychological counseling. And I just feel like Instagram ain't it. Social media, Twitter ain't it. You know, um, do I believe he probably made her eat her shit? I do. I do. Uh, but like I said, I ain't about to sit here and tell nobody. And if I ever tell it, I'm going to get paid for that shit. I'm putting it in a book, but, um, this is just weird. This is weird to me. This is absolutely weird to 
me. And R. Kelly, uh, you a weird motherfucker, but we already knew that. We already knew. 